Hey there Seeker, welcome back to Wild Lotus Tarot and to your weekly intuitive tarot reading. Just to let you know that all the June monthly readings are now live on my channel. I'll put the playlist here so you can jump directly into yours. By the end of this week I will have all the abundance updates done as well for you. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram and on TikTok. All the links that you need are below this video including the link to my website should you want to arrange a personal reading or healing for yourself. I am available for those and would absolutely love to read for you. So I'm wishing you a week full of love and magic. Let's head across to your reading now. Hi there Aquarius, welcome back to Wild Lotus Tarot and to your weekly intuitive reading for June 21st through to the 27th. I hope you're doing really well Aquarius. Let's see what just may be on the cards for you this week if it is your reading today. Starting here with the Work Your Light Oracle, then be moving to the Moonchild Tarot for Lead Tarot Energy and we'll use the Rider Waite and the Star Child Tarot Akashic for your tarot positions. Okay, let's go. Starting with the Oracle cards, we have got, oh, Leap. You go first, Aquarius, and the universe will catch you. This is pretty much the full energy and it's about sometimes taking a bold move forward into the unknown or a blind leap of faith. It says maybe it's time to, to start walking the path of the new Aquarius. Even though you might not know where it's headed, how it's all going to end up, you might not have you know, all the, the pieces in place that you'd hoped to have before you left. Maybe you hadn't quite saved up enough money or you know, you said that you weren't going to be um, you know, moving home this year or entering into a new relationship. Sometimes the universe has other plans for us. It's also saying that if there's something that you're kind of really wanting to move into, maybe if you take some, some bold steps and kind of show the universe that you're ready, then the universe will meet you in that. And it says it'll also catch you if you feel like you're going to fall. Anna, grandmother of Jesus, seeding the light, laying foundations, divine plan. Yeah, because there is a divine plan for your life, although there is free will on the earth plane. So you don't have to um, achieve those karmic contracts or lessons. However, I feel like when we're off path, then life can become challenging and beca can become kind of more difficult. So it says at the moment, you know, you're actually about to move into the new you are actually laying a new foundation here and it is part of your divine plan and that the universe is has been conspiring with you to to lead you to this moment Aquarius okay we've got the energies that have come out there's two I'm going to honor that temperance Sagittarian energy and the eight of pentacles okay so yeah, it's not going to be, it's not necessarily going to be easy here. The Eight of Pentacles can mean that, you know, we're really having to carve out a new path with our own effort, energy and resources. Some of you are needing to go and fill skill gaps if you're moving into a new job with some study. Uh, others of you might be starting a new business and you're really putting in all of your resources of time. You know, others of you might be really you know doing the work on yourself to, to make yourselves a better partner for relationships the eight of pentacles is about putting the work in to carve out a new path but generally even though it's hard work it feels good because you know that you are moving towards your divine plan right you're carving out your own future here and temperance um this is a real energy of healing you're actually coming back into an extremely stable time right you're laying a new foundation you're moving into a time of greater mental, emotional and physical well-being. Um, it's a real sense too that maybe you have been moving through or you're on the tail end of a, um, a healing kind of period and now you're time, it's time to really boldly move forward into the new. It's also a card of divine guidance as is that second oracle card. So I feel like you are being guided forward to the new path there and some of you might be dealing with a key Sagittarian energy. Temperance is about balance, you know, finally getting that balance in your life. Yeah, there we go. Ace of Wands, beautiful opportunities, becoming solid. Wow, love that. Let's get the current or focus energy out, Aquarius. Four of Pentacles, there goes the little fears that arise within us when the new is presented. 
We will overcome that though. What have we got here? We have got five of wands. I'm actually going to include that with that energy there. Outcome, please, outcome. Outcome, please, outcome. Mm -hmm -hmm. Judgment, guys. So generally when a new pathway opens up, you know, there's something to be released or we know we have to make changes in order to embrace it. So judgment is that divine intervention, is that divine wake up call. You know, what are you willing to do to follow the new? Ace of Wands clarified with the Hermit, Virgo energy, strong spiritual awakening energy there. wheel of fortune right okay that backs it up guys so this is whatever is happening it's it's destined for you and it is divine timing for things to unfold as they are judgment eight of pentacles again yeah it's going to be hard work guys but oh nine of pentacles you will not regret it let's get one more for ace of wands and hermit King of Cups. Bottom of the deck is the Death card. Yeah, I'm going to put that over there actually. Hmm. All right, some of you may have already had this amazing offer opportunity come in. For others, um, it can be still on its way. The timing is fluid with the Tarot. So, Ace of Wands, guys, passionate, new, exciting opportunities. If it's a working career, it's that kind of opportunity that makes going to work not feel like work. It's on purpose for you. It's aligned with your deeper core values. It calls to your spirit. Maybe some of you are being called to be of service to others. With the King of Cups, some of you might be moving into heart-centered work, heart-centered business. Um, yeah, it's really beautiful energy. If this is in a relationship for you, you've got very strong Scorpio energy here. But also some of you might have had an offer come in that feels, you know, absolutely meant for you, lights you up on a soul level, passionate, chemical, but also has the depth and, and real spiritual connection I'm hearing here with the hermit as well, right? There's also the sense of, with embracing whatever this opportunity is, there is a sense of needing to have, like kind of go it alone until you step into it so some of you might might be needing to release either an existing partnership an existing workplace where you kind of had a lot of um you know connection or you felt quite safe and secure the hermit can be that you need to kind of fly solo a little bit and you're kind of feeling into that oh it's a blind leap of faith am i really making the right decision here with the hermit there can be that little feeling of um, kind of isolation or in one sense there's this feeling of uh, being a bit lost but on the other sense it's like I need to do this in order to get to the next step. So the hermit is about reflecting, going within, following that intuition and the more you kind of be led by your higher self, you know, the more that that path forward will reveal itself. King of Cups, this is a time for you to really follow that intuition that we've just spoken about. Be led by the heart rather than the head. And also just really maintain a grounded, uh, a, you know, a grounded position and use your emotional intelligence to guide you forward as well, guys. Current or focus energy. It, it's time to accept that it is divine timing for these changes here, Aquarius, right? When the wheel of fortune wants to turn, it's generally going to turn anyway. And the, and the, the question is, are you ready to, to like jump on? I'm seeing one of those, you know, those Ferris wheels where it's like, it's scary, uh, you know, it's very high at the top, but are you ready, ready to go along for the ride? Because there is a lot of inner conflict here with the five of wands and the four of pentacle and there's pentacles and there's a real sense of holding on to the past being worried about stepping into a vulnerable position here so you're guarding the heart some of you really need to leave a sense of um, stability security or comfort zone in order to embrace the new and so all of a sudden it's like well i didn't think i was gonna have to give that up oh i don't know now you know there's trepidation here but we've got to be careful that we don't play small 
you know, constrict ourselves by not wanting to take big, bold moves, right? The Wheel of Fortune says it's divine timing, it is the right time, and some of you may need to close out a big cycle, death card and judgment, in order to, to move forward. And that's exactly what I'm seeing here, guys. There goes temperance again, <laughs> just to book into the reading. So judgment is about the fact that you have arrived at a point in time where it's the final call on a situation and the cards are saying, you know, are you going to go around for another cycle of, of where you're at at the moment, Aquarius, or are you going to move this across to world energy, the last major arcana that follows on from judgment and close a door here and move into the new cycle? That's where the victory lays in knowing when it's time to release and when it's time to, to leap. There is a sense of the situation that you've been in constricting you in some way, maybe to the point of, you know, when you fall out of alignment with something, you can kind of feel a bit down, you feel like you're a bit stuck in your life and you're not really moving anywhere. Or oh, this is why you've had this kind of divine wake-up call. Hey, the divine plan is unfolding. It's time for you to step onto the path. In order to do that, though, you're going to have to, one, allow something to die in your life this is the death card you're gonna to have to release something right it's gonna be a little bit of hard work here for you but by doing that you transform your life and you step into the light are you ready to surrender are you ready for the new chapter are you ready for the new dawn the new day because the nine of pentacles is on promise here going from the hermit to the nine of pentacles is like going from the cocooning stage to the full butterfly mode so there's a sense of shedding old skins here, of transforming, raising your vibration, coming out, looking and feeling better than, uh, than ever. And it says that even though whatever this is, is it going to be a bit of hard work, Aquarius, that it's going to pay, right? It's going to pay off big time. The Nine of Pentacles is about abundance, luxury and quality internally and externally in your life because when you move in alignment and in universal flow with what is meant for you, then it becomes easier and the universe gives you the rewards that align with that. It just doesn't feel like work, right? You're in the dance of the universal energy and I give out and I receive and I give out and I receive. But we don't want to be in situations that drain our energy. And that Five of Wands is, for me, an, an energy leak card. It says that things are tougher than what they need to be in your life at the moment. But by releasing what isn't working and what feels like it's past its use by date or what is compromising your energy, you can move into a far more balanced, like double temperance card, final, finally into a place of balance in our lives where we are listening to divine guidance and we're allowing that to be the inner compass and we are, you know, embracing the opportunities that want to come in for us. Beautiful. Well, I'm going to leave it there, Aquarius, and wish you all the best with it. When that wheel wants to turn, it's going to turn anyway, so why not go along for the ride? Um, keep in mind it's a general reading, so it may not resonate with all of you. In fact, it won't. Uh, feel free to drop me a comment, guys. I read them all, and I try my best to interact with you all over there as well. Um, it helps me get to know you guys individually and, um, you know, see what you're going through and also what the collective themes are. Has been a pleasure to read your cards, Aquarius. I'm wishing you much love and magic for the week. Bye for now.